How do we accept that this thing was done by error? How do we accept that it is it is an error? $239 million. $239 million. Is that is that is that is that the money that everybody should be joking with? $239 million. You are telling us that you sent such amount of money mistakenly to Taliban. The same people you tag as terrorists. The same people you tag as terrorists, you sent them $239 million. There is not this Joe Biden administration is not telling us anything. No. You are you are honestly he, he, this administration is not telling us anything. $239 million to the people you call terrorists. Many of you are not aware. The the US government sent $239 million. They say it's mistakenly to the Taliban in Afghanistan. Since 2021, that the U.S. withdrew their troops from 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 Afghanistan. Now they are, they are, they came out. So yesterday it has been trending that the U.S. government sent 239 million dollars, 239 million dollars to the same Afghanistan. I mean, Taliban's that are in charge of Afghanistan right now, and they are claiming that it's a mistake. I don't know if you have anything to say about this thing now. Feel free to leave it there in the comment section. Feel free to leave via the comment section because me now I think I think I'm tired of this administration. I'm tired of this Biden's administration. Two hundred and thirty nine million dollars. Two hundred and thirty nine million dollars. To people you claim to be to be to to be to be to be to be to be to be terrorists. Please subscribe to this channel, I beg. And well, a new U.S. report reveals that the U.S. State Department might have accidentally funneled at least $239 million to the Taliban since the 2021 withdrawal of its troops from Afghanistan. The U.S. Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, also called SIGAR, uh, found significant lapses in compliance with partner wedding requirements by the State Department. It also said two of the five State Department bureaus that were sending money to Afghanistan failed to properly vet non-profit organizations. The two departments in question are the Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor and the Bureau of International Narcotics and, Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs. The $239 million excludes the military equipment including Humvees and Black Hawk helicopters worth $7 billion that the U.S. military left behind in Afghanistan. But why does the non-profit require such vigorous vetting? Right after the chaotic U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, the Taliban opened over 100 scam non-profit organizations. While these organizations fronted to be working for humanitarian assistance, most of these were linked to the Taliban. The group secured massive tranches of money through donations made to these non-profit organizations. As per the report, there is a huge possibility that Taliban may have benefited the most from the state spending in Afghanistan. Sikar's response is asked the two departments that failed to comply to quote-unquote begin complying. The Afghanistan war, which was America's longest foreign war, cost the country's taxpayers about $2.2 trillion. Over 2,400 U.S. military personnel died along the 3,846 U.S. military contractors. It is estimated that over 45,000 Afghan civilians also died during the course of the conflict.